Yesterday was the 48th anniversary of the strike where Air Trade Union, IDATU, was mandated now, um, passed a motion to ban South African goods, um, which came down to our store in Henry Street. And when we received the policy, we didn't know really much about what was happening in South Africa, but we were having a lot of problems there, so we decided that we'd follow the policy, which ended up in Dunn's uh, suspending me and the rest of the people walking out in support. Um, this started a strike that lasted for two years and nine months. Um, as we were on the picket line, because we were learning what was happening in South Africa, it became much more than a policy to us. It became more than a piece of paper. It became something that we actually believed in. As a result, two years and nine months later, the Irish government banned South African fruit and veg coming into Ireland. And it was the first country in Western Europe to do so. We need a similar action now for, for Gaza. We need Palestine to be... We need, the trade union movement to get involved, for people who are working to get involved and ask their trade unions to pass similar policies to help out. You don't have to go on strike for two years and nine months, but it means that you can, if you have the backing of your union, at least you have something when you say it to your employer, the reason why you are refusing to handle the goods. Um, we're also calling on the government to do something. It took our Irish government two years and nine months to decide that South African goods were being produced under slave or prison labour, which gave them a loophole to actually bring the boycott in. I'm sure it is more than any kind of a loophole now from what's happening in Gaza every day, what we see on our screens. We didn't have that in the 80s. We only had the, what was coming in on the news daily, or even not even daily. So there's no excuse. We need to boycott Israeli goods now. We need the government to get involved and trade unions to get involved. And start in a small way and work your way. Keep going. We, we all support what's happening now. And the, the movement in Ireland has grown, as you can see. So um, that's, I'm going to finish there because I haven't done this in a long time. So <laughs> free Palestine.